Well, hi, it's Michael from jgrtraining.com. Uh, welcome to another video. And today I am going to show you how to use search option in Jira, how to search and how to create filters. So, so first of all, we're going to talk about the global search. I'm going to show you how to do also advanced with um, JQL a little bit, we also gonna create our first filter because they in Jira filters and search are connected. It's almost the same thing. And I'm also gonna show you how to share filters with the uh, with your team with, with your team team member, and we can also add uh, filters to the dashboard because this is very very cool and very very useful. All right, so let's jump into our uh, Jira installation. All right, welcome back. And uh, it's going to be again this time Jira in the, no, self-hosted, sorry. But don't worry, the version actually doesn't matter because self-hosted and um, my self-hosted version is 7.3, which is almost the latest. So it, it, they are actually ex absolutely uh, almost, almost the same. Very, very small differences between self-hosted and cloud. So if you've got, if your Jira is in the cloud, it will look uh, probably very, very, very similar. All right. So as you can see, I switched the, the uh, dashboard again to the default, uh, but my my uh, prepared uh, dashboard, which I've been talking into previous video, is still here. And as you can see, that filters that favorite filters uh, and I'm not displaying anything why because I don't have any any filters right now which is which is cool you know we're gonna create our first filter in just a few minutes all right so before let's just talk about the global search first so as you can see on the top top bar there is a search and this is a global search so for instance if I gonna type for word demo this is going to list everything else, not actually working with a smart query. Okay, so my first um, my first point is in a, in a cloud. It's little the, the search is a little bit more uh, sophisticated. Let's say it's a little bit better because you can, they just implemented some really really cool thing, which is that smart query. The smart query also is supported by the. Um, by my version, by uh, self-hosted version, but need to be switched into the into the search. So search in the, in a, in a cloud is is a little bit different. It's a little better, but okay. I'm gonna hit the demo, and what's happened? So the demo basically word is just like a keyword. So as you can see, it it's just listed every single uh, everything, absolutely every single field every single uh, project and every single issue in Jira. So basically not very, no, well, it's not very precise, but it is very powerful because if you, if you're looking for something, especially like serial number or something like this, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna find a very, very, very quick. It's very, very quick. Mm. And you can limit in that, in another screen. So you can actually limit the search in this screen. So basically, uh, I'll not really like right answer. Should I use this one? Should I use global, or should I just go to the um, issues and search? So because that's actually the, that's more advanced uh, search mechanism in Jira. So by the default, Jira I've got like a three, three, three actually level. So you can search uh, global. This one is like basic plus uh, advanced where you can change projects, issue types. And there's also the very advanced, which is the JQL. We're going to talk about it in just a few minutes about, uh, I'm going to switch to basic. And first of all, you can go to over here, type demo, keyword is going to, and this is going to point you to the uh, search screen, which you can also achieve the same result if you go right here to the issues from the top menu and select search for issues. This is actually the same uh, screen. And right now you can see, you can see before, you can also type the demo. And again, it's gonna search through everything. How I know it's gonna search through everything because you can limit uh, the search like narrowing down by these elements from the 
from the menu, from the search menu. So look at this, you can actually select, I've already got a few demo projects. So you can actually say, you know, I just wanna say, uh, just to limit to only two projects. And you know, I just wanna limit also to maybe an Epic. I'm looking for a demo Epic or whatever. And this one I'm gonna leave empty. So again, very, very uh, useful information again. If uh, nothing is selected, please remember, if nothing is selected, that's mean everything. That's how it works. So if I don't limit, because basically you just limit it down, just like narrowing down. So if nothing is selected, that's mean everything is selected, yeah. Okay, you can also um, just select for, for assign, for example. And you know, that's not all of them because you, there is many more options, many, many, many more options. And look at this, I'm gonna create something more sophisticated, which is actually absolutely fine right now because we've got a few extra, uh, issue types selected maybe in progress, you know, and to do, yeah, why not? Backlog, okay, it's so in progress, maybe not. And assignee, yeah, that's fine. And look at this now, the demo is again a contained a word somewhere demo, it's just narrowing down. So I've got only two results. So if I quickly want to, if you know. For, for some reason, you just want to add more, more stuff, more parameters, you can always switch to advanced mode, which is right here, just next to the magnifying glass. And look at this, what's going to happen when I switch to advanced. Wow, there you are, there you are, you know, it's, it is, actually Jira is um, just converted that query into some strange language. <laughs> well, it's not actually strange. It, that that uh, language is based on the SQL language. It's called JQL, so I mean, like Jira query language. And it's very, very simple. However, however, you can, you can create really sophisticated queries. So um, by the default, by the default, probably most of the time you're gonna use the basic one. But, well, it depends, you know, because maybe it's going to be more advanced. I don't know. But um, like in my case, I most of the time I use, um, I just use the, that basic. And if I need anything extra, you can start adding, you know. And, and as you can see, Jira is, uh, it works really, really great because it's, 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 it's like helping us to build the query. So you've got all the stuff right here. And by the way, if you lost, and if you just want to learn, because this video is not about the JQL, um, but yeah, you can go into the syntax help and just learn from 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 Atlassian website. So it is it's quite simple. Uh, it's very similar to SQL. Uh, also, it's very powerful. So you can do really really cool stuff. Okay. Okay, we're back to Jira. Uh, so I'm just not gonna do that. And yeah, and if I'm gonna switch to basic, the query is more user friendly. All right, so that's how the search works. And basically, uh, let's just now talk to the filter. So basically, because it's 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 in Jira, search and filters are connected. Uh, directly, it's like a, like almost one thing, because you can imagine what's going to happen if I want to save this um, this result and 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 also created my favorite filter. Well, it's very simple. It's very very simple. Just you can in Jira there is no limit on that. You can create as many filters as you as you want, and sometimes yes, after even a, a few years, you can see hundreds, thousands of of, of search in Jira. Uh, so how to do it? Yeah, very simple. There is a save as button. And um, I can give you my first, well, not first, my, my, my another tip. Uh, please, please, especially if you're Jira admin, uh, pay close attention to search because it's gonna, you're going you're gonna to need it and it's all over the Jira, especially for the configuration of the boards for, for Scrum and Kanban. All right, so I'm going to show you how to basically save it. It's very simple. Just now, just 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 click that button, save us, 
10 uh, and just name it as a filter name so I uh, again if you if you watch my video do not do not you know um, name it like this this is very very good practice to call the filter right from the beginning because especially filters uh, you're gonna have you're gonna probably create like hundreds in the next I don't know even months weeks so yes it's very good to create uh, to set, to set the name from the begin set the right name from the beginning and I'm gonna call it uh, my first demo very no, no spelling mistake <laughs> and submit cool so as you can see the name's been changed to my first demo query and also the star is filled so by the default every filter is uh, your favorite that's how it is in in india so look at this if i'm gonna go back right now to the dashboard how to go back to the dashboard you can actually click on the icon or you can go for and for the menu or you can go and click on the on the jira icon and look at this do you remember in the beginning that field was blank was empty and now there we go i've got my favorite filters which is called my first demo query and plus on top of it it is also pointing me to the results so we've just created our first filter where you can where else you can find them and they are actually right here in the issues they're always going to be uh, right here so can you see yeah it's my first demo query so of course you know if you create like 500 there's not going to be a list of 500 uh, filters it's only going to be something like uh, five or ten i think it's about five just like the latest one so um again if you want to now now let's talk about how to um, how to basically uh f f share the, the filter with your favorite team member because in the previous video i told you about the uh, the dashboard how to share the dashboard with your with your with your teammate but there is also one more thing if for instance you're going to create a dashboard which is going to have a, a few filters on it you also have to share the filters because if someone is going to uh, open share dashboard and the filter which is right here is not shared that gadget will be empty so please do not forget to share the filter so when you're sharing dashboards with the filters which are pre-configured they need to be uh, done in like two steps so first of all we share in dashboard and secondly we share uh, the filter that's how it works so can you do it at once probably no but anyway let's go back to the uh, issues and i'm gonna go for manage filters because i've got only one and straight away you can actually see from here who's the owner who is to share it with and there's also a very very important um, section subscribe this is actually a really cool thing as we're going to talk about it in more details uh, during the reports because it's just ba basically how it works it's very simple uh, you can have you can actually create a filter for a selected results whatever you want and as you can see you can subscribe so Jira is going to email you it's going to email you. you know it could be like once that's going to be crazy but like every um once a day you know at whatever 12 o'clock 12 or 2 a.m in the night you know what could be 2 p.m and it can email this filter even if there are no issues found it, it will, it's going to be just a, uh, no issues found but obviously it's very very useful thing especially if you're a scrum master if you're a manager okay but we're going to talk a little bit more details in a different video so now we're going to share it so how to share it you're going to go to the edit and it's exactly same rule how we share uh, the dashboard so again this name and shares with no one really so because again common common rookie mistake people are going like this okay i'm going to do group i'm going to do administrator i'm going to save it done you know and no nothing's going to happen unfortunately uh how i know because it's non-subscribe you have to hit that plus button so again you're gonna go through the groups to your administrators and hit that and now you clearly can see it is shares with a group and of course of course you can share a filter with multiple 
groups, not just one, you can have a, or with a project. So it can be like this, or with all. And um, so it could be, so it's now shared group and project. And now you can hit that save button. There you go. It's changed now. So you clearly can see it's share. So yeah, pay attention to uh, to these details. And and that's it. And how to actually find the dashboard. If again, you, you share it with someone and say, hey, John, you know, I just shared the dashboard. Can you find it? How John, what's John supposed to do? Uh, same, ex exactly same procedure uh, compared to dashboard. So basically you're going to go to find so manage filters and you're going to uh, just find them, just go to the search or popular. There are a few. Yeah, and they will be the list right here. All right, so I think that's it for this video. I uh, showed you a few things. If you like it, please uh, leave the comment below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.